construct binary search tree from pre-order traversal. I will solve this problem and then also maybe do some drawing to explain what happens. Return the root node of a binary search tree that matches the given pre-order traversal. If this is the tree, then pre-order traversal is if we start with DFS in the root, so the first visit vertex is 8, then we go to a child, left child first, here we have 5, so 5 is the next number and so on. So it's when you run DFS from the root, every time you enter a vertex for the first time, you write down its number. So for this input, we need to output something representing this tree. There is here definition of a struct, every node has value, pointers to left and right, and we have a constructor with which we can create, we can create a new node. Uh, like that. So first thing is mm, recall that oh, maybe also definition of binary search tree. For every node, any descendant of node left has a value smaller than my value, and any descendant of right node has value greater than uh, this this thing. So eight. After eight, everything smaller than eight is here on the left part, greater on the right part. So get. After getting this sequence, I will say this is the root, 8 here. After that, everything that is smaller than me goes to left part, everything greater than me goes to the right part. There are for sure several ways to do that, but the length of a sequence is small, so even quadratic complexity should be fine. At the end, we can think if uh, we can do better than that. Uh, but uh, yeah, do I want a new function, maybe not BST from pre-order. If pre-order empty, then return no. I don't want anything. Otherwise, there is some first thing, A root value, let's say, is pre-order of zero. Now we gather everything that is smaller than this and greater. It should be, we should just go to the end. So everything other than the very first value, pre-order size. If pre-order of i is smaller than root value, smaller, push back this value. Else greater. Push back this value. For example, for this sequence, 517 would be smaller, 10, 12 would be bigger. Three node uh, left, left son, left child is BST from pre order. I run the function that is created here. It should be able to build a binary search tree based on a sequence, given a sequence. Smaller go to the left, bigger go to the right. T from pre-order, greater. And I need to create tree node of x. Oh, here I get just this value, three note, three note, I don't know, root, is this of root value. By default, left and right become null, and here I will say root left is this, and root right is that. need to return a pointer to the root. Empty, there's some typo. Where is it? Run again. In this week, like you might already have noticed, I'm not doing things with timer. 
something is wrong with memory. Let's try to debug this a little bit. Print root value. And let's say also smaller dot size and greater dot size. For this test, I should see eight, three, and two. Eight, three, and two. For twelve, zero, zero, like every function got here. Then I run a smaller function, smaller one. Ten zero one. Yeah, that seems right. Maybe the issue is that I create node here and then it gets destroyed. Okay, I struggled with this a little bit and I think I'm missing a keyword new. But I don't understand it well enough. To, to explain what it does. It basically allocates new memory. No available conversion from this to that. Yeah, it's just pointer. This should do a job. Seems all right, submit accepted and this is quadratic complexity let's try to get something better than this uh, but first analyze what happens for this sequence for this sequence i take eight i create a root out of it then those two are vectors of smaller smaller values and bigger values than eight i know that 517 will be bigger so i run recursively for sequence 517 i create some tree and what will be returned is pointer to a root of that tree. There is some tree here. I, I don't need to know how it looks like. And then I say left child of eight is this, this one. And it doesn't matter what exactly happened here. Recursively, this is done. Similarly, for 10, 12, for this I run recursively, it gives me a root of that subtree. And then I say this. In particular, if this is empty, then this would be a null pointer. This is how we create a tree. And uh, why this is quadratic? Because on every level, I go through the rest of the sequence. Is it possible that I will go like that n times? Yes. An example of that is a sequence like uh, 1, 2, 3, and so on, a sorted sequence. Because then, for 1, this is a whole vector of size n minus 1. It, it's not that this uh, tree will be balanced or something like that. It will be one. It, take, it took me linear time to, fi to find this vector. Then uh, here for two to n, again, it will be two. But, and I will linearly go through that, then through that, and so on. The number of operations is n plus n minus one, n minus two, n minus three, and so on. In total, in this case, O of n square. And really, this n square is achievable like that. Can we do better? Without going through the array again and again, I can say that 8 is the root. And uh, let's say that every time I pass this vector by reference, or, or it could be global, now I know that I need to do something with this number. And by default, like for some time there will be numbers smaller than 8. So I will say that I go recursively to the left child of 8, and I have some pointer pointing to 5 because 5 is a number I need to take care of right now. I will put it here and continue in some way. But eventually I need to know that when I hit number greater than 8, this is the first number greater than 8, I need to stop my recursion in the left part. I need to now move to the right part. Is it maybe possible? Or can I run recursively here on the left part? remembering the value that is my limit. When you hit something greater than 8, stop. I can. I can go recursively to the left part and remember the limit. It will be something like recursive, like or 
whatever the function is called, of index, this is let's say id, of a number I need to take care of right now, and some limit, a value, and I will say if my current number at position id, if it's greater than limit, then stop doing anything there with that recursion. And every time uh, the logic will be to put the current number as a root, then go recursively to left part. But also if this value, if let's say here, instead of five, I had nine, then already I should say, oh, no, 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 this doesn't go here. Instead, I should go to the right part, right child. Let's try to code it. If preorder empty, then return null, still, still true. Root value is this. I think I can leave this. And I, my aim is to get complexity in both time and space of an. Uh, this is the goal. Root value, this create that. At the end, we will return root, but everything between will change. Root left is BST from preorder, where I get preorder, but let's get something more. I will create a private function. Uh, recursion or helper, something like that. It is, it's exactly like BST from preorder, but not only it gets this, but also ID where I'm currently looking and limit, where if I exceed this limit, I shouldn't go further. If ID is equal preorder.size, if I'm already out of the array, or preorder of ID is greater than limit, return null. And do nothing. Otherwise, uh, do this. Preorder of ID. And, mm, and run recursively over there. Helper of preorder id plus one and limit is this. For example, I w there was eight above. Now I'm down at five. I need to say below. I can. I'm okay with everything with values smaller than five. Uh, this is my left child. What about the right one? Yeah. What I did do I pass there? I don't know. I don't know how many values were taken to use on my left child. Instead, I can every time pass this ID by reference, or even better, it's, it's equivalent, but I'm doing that just for clarity for you. What if the array is now global? Uh, Pre-order, yeah, let's say that it's nums, but it's the same as pre-order. Uh, and this, and ID. And now every time when I do something, when I use value at position ID, then I say ID plus plus. What if this was the case? This preorder will not change at all, but ID, there is one global ID. I keep track of what number I'm currently deciding about. Root left is this. And what about root right? Helper of and now the limit for the right part, let's think, looking at the drawing for a moment. When I'm from eight, let's say I'm at eight is root. When I go to the right part, I'm okay with number like 10. So is there no upper limit? There might be. It's a function. Some parent function could pass me some global limit because maybe eight is a left parent of 15. Forget about this for a moment. If 8 is left parent of 15, then here values must be smaller than 15. So here the limit from above matters. Uh, do that and then return root. This will be a helper function, uh, but let's, let's make it more professional. Like global variable, stuff like that, they're bad. So this is better. Uh, then I need to also pass them. 
const next to preorder means I'm not going to change it. ID preorder ID and that would be it. What am I doing here? I need to uh, say ID is zero return helper of preorder the end limit is int max there is no limit initially let's remove everything after that and try to fix compilation errors if there are any now I improved from n square to linear complexity here we go uh, so don't worry about that that's the full thing why won't we analyze what happens for this sequence? This arrow will denote ID. Initially it's at 8. I, I am a recursive function with upper limit equal to infinity, int max. And I create root is 8. I go to the left part. I move ID by 1 because I used 8. 8 is like already done. I, don't, I will not do anything more with 8. And as long in this subtree there is upper limit of 8 as long as values are smaller than 8 I will put them there I'm looking at 5 5 is indeed smaller than 8 then put it here go to the left part ID moved so 5 again is done completely and in this left part I'm with upper limit 5 as long as numbers there will be 1, 2, 3, 4 or maybe 0, minus 1, minus 2 I'm okay with negative values then I would continue uh, here one id moves so uh, equivalently we can say one is removed is done now i try to move to the left part with upper limit of one and now i'm looking at value seven seven is not smaller than one so here value null will be returned then i move to right child of one and what is the limit you can stop now for a moment and think about that upper limit is 5. This subtree is subtree of values more than 5. So even though from 1 I go to the right part, the upper limit is 5. So in, if instead of this 7 it was 4 here, I would put 4 over there. But not, it's 7. 7 is not smaller than 5, the limit. So I return null pointer. And now 1 is already created with both children. So I move up. Now I'm at 5, I'm trying to create right child of 5. Upper limit here, again, is 8. This is a limit in the subtree, the upper limit is 8. When we go to right child, we use limit from our parent, whatever he passed to us. Uh, so 7 can be used here. We move to 10, 7 is used. Uh, can 10 be used here? No, it cannot. It's null. Can, seven, can 10 be used here? It cannot. It's null. Because here we have upper limit of 8. Here we had upper limit of 7. Blah, blah, blah. This is created. So this is returned to a parent function. And now here, right part tries to be done. 10, go here. Upper limit 10. Looking at uh, 12 cannot be done. So null. And this is finally 12. Oh, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want more tutorials about uh, binary trees, binary search trees, things like that, let me know in the comments and I might do it after I'm done with this 30-day lead code challenge. Hope you enjoyed this one. Bye-bye.